All right, so today in this video, we're going to talk about the phases of matter. There are three types. One is solid, the other is liquid, and then you have gas. So what we need to know how to do is recognize them and understand why each of these occur. So in a solid, that's when your particles will be very close together. All right, it has no room to move. So it has a, a uniform shape and no motion. All right, so it means the shape doesn't change unless something happens such as adding heat to it. All right, so shape doesn't change. Then you have liquid. The particles are spread out a little more. And in a liquid, it takes the shape of the container. So whatever it's in, just like water, It'll take the shape of that container. All right. And your last phase of matter is going to be gas. And here, particles are just really spread out. Okay. Same thing, takes the shape of the container. All right. So the difference between these three is basically particle arrangement. Here the particles don't move at all. Here the particles kind of bump against each other and move a little more, but not much. Here the particles bounce off each other and have a lot of space in between them. So the particles are moving fast. It's going from fast to slow. So this is the fastest that particles will move. This is medium. This is the slowest because all it does is vibrate. So it's not really moving. The particles aren't moving. They're just vibrating. All right. So that's your phases of matter, solids, liquids, gases so the way to go from a solid to a liquid if you add heat it's like you melt something you add heat to a solid these particles will start to spread apart more and become a liquid you add more heat they spread apart more and become a gas now to go in reverse you have a gas and you take away heat which means you make something colder it turns into a liquid you add you make take away heat from a liquid make this colder and it freezes it becomes a solid. Another thing we'll have to do with faith with uh, phases of matter is recognize our phase changes. So what we have here is our heating and cooling curve. You'll notice how one the temperature increases, and then in this bottom one we're noticing that the temperature is already high and it's decreasing. So we're gonna see how to read those and how to label them. So I have one here that I drew out. All right, so what's happening when you have a low temperature that means it's starting as a solid so we're working our way something that's zero degrees is probably frozen all right so this is a solid right here and as the temperature increases it starts to get hotter and hotter to the point at which it has a phase change so once it once it levels out that means we're having a phase change in which case the solid starts to melt so that says melting and then it becomes a liquid all right so then the heat 
or the temperature increases more, it gets hotter and hotter and hotter, it goes to another phase change. So when liquid goes to a gas, that's called evaporation. So then it becomes a gas, gets hotter and hotter until it becomes plasma or anything like that. So this is your um, heating and cooling curve. This is your heating curve because so, it's getting hotter and hotter. So when the lines level off, they're going through a phase change. Melting is your first phase change. Evaporation is your second phase change. All right. So we're going to look at the second one. Where is it reversed? And instead of heat being added, heat is going to get lost. So we start in here. So at that point, for something to be high in temperature, we're starting with the gas. As it cools down, it goes to its first phase change in a, in a heat losing graph, which means we're, it's our cooling graph. So as the gas cools, once the, once the phase changes, that is called condensation. Going from a gas to a liquid is condensation. So then the liquid, now we have a liquid. It cools even more until it gets to the next phase change. And we go from a liquid to a solid. That's called freezing. And now we have a solid. So it's just the reverse of a heating curve, but you have different terms. Condensation is when you transfer, transfer gas to a liquid, and when a liquid changes to a solid, it's called freezing. Solid going to a liquid would be called melting. A liquid going to a gas was evaporation. All right. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll make sure I clarify it for you.